Now it's been one month since the PS5 reveal trailer and I gotta say a lot has changed. Let's talk PlayStation today, finally got my controller here and yeah it's a lot to talk about, let's get into it. Now just yesterday Sony has revealed the game case of the PS5 so this is how it's gonna look like and to be honest with you guys it looks just like the PS4 game case but just with the white text on the top or the white background I should say. So yeah, so this is the official game art design. This is the style that we're gonna be seeing. And if you plan on picking up the PS5 Digital Edition, you cannot play physical PS5 games. Uh, a lot of people have been debating in the comments. A lot of people actually wanna go with the physical copy of the games just in case, and I understand that. But me, I still want to get the Digital Edition. Just check out my video. I throw a link in the description comparing the PS5 versus the PS5 Digital Edition. But yeah, this is the official game design art box. And speaking of the PS5 games, it's pretty much official that the games will cost $69.99. This has pretty much been confirmed uh, according to 2K, the game will cost $70. And 2K claimed that, okay, games are getting more advanced. You know, it's taking a lot of, you know, resources. So the price had to increase. It's unfortunate and it's kind of sad, but it's kind of true. Games are getting more advanced and it's going to, and even the production value is getting more expensive. But then again, you got companies like 2K and Activision that's still doing the whole microtransaction thing so i wouldn't mind paying 70 dollars for a game if we don't have any microtransactions but you know that's not going to be true they still gonna kill us with microtransactions and you know the packs and loot crates and uh it's disgusting it's been 15 years since games been 60 dollars. i mean 15 years is a long time that's almost two decades that's a decade and a half so $70 is the standard AAA price for next generation consoles. That's including the Xbox X and the PS5. Um, and I guess the Switch is still gonna remain $60, I guess. And that means maybe special editions will cost maybe 130 or 120. And then we're not even talking about the top of the line edition, the high end one. So I don't know, I'm curious to see the future of game prices. It's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna be paying $100 for a game. <laughs> Staying on topic on the games, we have your gamer Tom Phillips, one of the most trusted sources in the industry. Sony has some more games up their sleeves to announce, and it's pretty interesting. Here's the list right here. First party PS5 exclusive, Silent Hills Reboot. Man, that's definitely a big one. Hopefully bringing back PT, PT Part 2, I don't know. SOCOM Reboot, that's another big one. And last time I played SOCOM was like uh, PS2. God of War 2, another heavy hitter, Uncharted 5, and we even have freaking Bloodborne remaster, what? We have some remasters in the mix too, and we have a new IP from Sony Santa Monica, we have of course we got Spider-Man uh, 2, and then we have another remake, and then we have The Last of Us Part 2 online, so most likely we're going to see The Last of Us being remastered on the PS5, similar to what they did with the first Last of Us on the PS3, pointing over to the PS5. Uh, PS4 I mean and yeah Sony just never disappoints when it comes down to the games man that's one thing you can't hate about PlayStation is the exclusives man and I mean Nintendo too they get the they get their crown too but the exclusives man that makes or break a console for me but um and on top of that you can still be able to play your PS4 games <laughs> yeah PS5 I cannot wait I really can't wait man a lot of good games God of War 2 SOCOM reboot Silent Hill reboot again and you might not have to wait that long to see these games in action because Sony might be doing something on Monday, July 13th. So we might see a price reveal, we might see a pre-order date, and we might even see a release date of the PS5 on Monday, July 13th, as soon as Monday. Uh, this is according to this incredible leaker, uh, Roberto. He even predicted the reveal of the PS5. So, you know, take it for a grain of salt, but just have your eyes peeled on July 13th. That might be the day. Backwards compatibility might be making a return. We have the PS1, PS2, and PS3 could be supported to play on your PS5 console. This patent suggests that Sony could use a virtual machine to emulate these consoles through the cloud. So basically, PS Now is coming to the PS5, but if there's a way that Sony can have it where you could just put in the disc, in the uh, PS5 console, 
man, that could be a big deciding factor between the PS5 and the PS5 Digital Edition. And with the virtual machine, the console can mimic the operating system associated with each game and console. So nostalgia is gonna definitely hit with this one if this is true, or if Sony's gonna actually put it on the PS5, but only time will tell. PS4 games will be supported on the PS5, but most of my games are digital, so that's why I wanna get the digital edition. But the PS3 side, most of my games are physical, not digital. <laughs> A hands-on image of the DualSense controller has been leaked. As you guys can see, the controller is pretty massive. Now, I'm not sure if this is fake or not. It just came out not too long ago. And yeah, a lot of sources are reporting this, but like I said, take it for a grain of salt. It looks massive. But let me know down in the comments down below how you guys feel about the DualSense controller. Yay, nay, dope, nope, let me know. Now I know this picture is pretty old, but we have an alleged PS5 photo right here. This is a hands-on, and as you guys can see, the console is pretty massive. It's, this is gonna be the largest, biggest console that of all time, basically. I'm not really too mad at this. I'd rather a console stay quiet, stay cool. So yeah, that's why they made it so big, because of the fans and everything, and yeah. But I'm definitely curious to see how this is gonna look like, like right next to my monitor and everything comparing that to the ps4 original yeah curious subscribe if you guys want to see an unboxing of the ps5 and this is a no-brainer but the ps5 will still require ps plus to play multiplayer online games kind of sucks i made a whole video talking about this ranting about this how console gaming should be free to play online while the pc side we you know playing that for free online so yeah it is what it is it's nothing changing with that there's a rumor flowing around indicating that Sony is going to do another PS5 event shortly after the Xbox Series X showcase. So I don't know yet if this is true yet. There's nothing confirmed, but it, it will be crazy. And that's definitely maybe a good move on Sony, maybe. But we got to wait and see. And as soon as Sony officially reveals the price in the day and the pre-order day, I'm gonna be sure to make a video as soon as I can. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on. And also, if you can, drop a like on this video. Help me out a bunch if you guys are enjoying the video so far. Also, there's a rumor that the PS5 may be released on November 20th, 2020, of course. And that's not too far fetched at all because the PS4 came out on November 15th, 2013. And yeah, I think this is more than likely. This is only a rumor, it's not official. And that's right before Black Friday, but don't expect any sales. You would probably see a lot of bundles more than anything. And yeah, that's also 10 days away from my birthday. My birthday is November 30th. So yeah, November is always just nothing but thanks and gratefulness and just things coming out. Christmas is around the corner. I love November. And to go along with the release date, everybody's favorite topic, the pricing. Now there was a price leak on Amazon. It was showing the PS5 will cost $565 and then the PS5 Digital Edition will cost $450, but it was confirmed to be fake by Amazon. Now, honestly, it's hard to predict the price. Sony themselves is struggling to figure out a price, but let's, let's keep in mind the PS4, when that came out, that cost $399, $400. It would be nice for Sony to release it at $399, just like the PS4, but I think they're gonna put $100 extra onto it, making it $499. That's just me, that's just me, but I could be wrong. We don't know yet the official word, but I'm pretty much 80% sure that the digital edition will be cheaper. You know, I think it will be cheaper, and who knows, maybe the digital edition may have more memory than the standard PS5. I don't know, man, but only time will tell when Sony officially announced the details but until then we gotta play the waiting game and that pretty much concludes today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did i appreciate it with a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on so you guys be notified when i upload another ps5 video and also comment down below how you guys feel about next gen games priced at 70 dollars and until next time stay safe and have a simple day let's have an hour